Today on Acupuncture Masterclass, we're gonna examine why so many students make location errors on the lower leg. Stick around, see what those mistakes are, and be sure to stay till the very end for a special gift. Let's take a look. If you haven't noticed already, a lot of very powerful points are below the elbows and below the knees in Chinese medicine. But how clinically effective are these points if we're not locating them correctly? A lot of my students have trouble locating these points, specifically in the lower medial side of the leg. So today, we're gonna to take a very deep dive into the anatomical landmarks in this area, the Sun measurements, and that way uh, we'll find these points a lot more accurately and you'll have more clinically effective results with your clients. Let's take a look at the close up. Okay, so let's take a look at the lower leg and the anatomical landmarking that we need to do uh, for Sun measurement. So of course, um, the main areas that we're gonna be looking at on the medial side, we have the lower medial malleolus. So we have the medial malleolus as our lower anatomical landmark for the Sun measurements here. Just make a quick little pen mark. Uh, and of course, this is right at the tip of the malleolus, not the top, not the bottom, but right at the tip of the malleolus that we're using as our lower anatomical landmark. And uh, as we move uh, upwards towards the uh, the upper anatomical landmark, we have the tibiofemoral joint space, often in line with the lower aspect of the patella, pretty easily palpated on that medial side. Nice little tick mark there just to identify the upper anatomical landmark. Uh, on the medial side and on the lateral side just a quick little tick mark uh, for reference there we're going to concentrate on the medial side but this distance between the tibial femoral joint space and the medial malleolus tip 15 sun so we have a 15 sun measurement on the medial side on the lateral side we have 16 now a lot of people will confuse the 16 and 15 so if you have problems with that just just notice with the malleoli Medial malleolus slightly higher than the lateral malleolus, so a shorter distance to the tibial femoral joint space. That's how you can remember medial is 15, lateral is 16. Okay, so back to uh, this medial side here. So there's our 15 from the tibial femoral joint space to the uh, medial malleolus. We also have a, another measurement uh, on this medial side. This is where things get a little confusing for people. This lower aspect of the condyle of the tibia, the medial condyle of the tibia. This is also a common reference point for anatomical measuring. It's also spleen 9. That distance, 13 sun. So 13 sun, of course, from spleen 9 to the uh, medial malleolus and from tibial femoral joint space to the medial malleolus, 15. So try not to confuse those out. And of course, the lateral one, which we'll concentrate on another day, 16 soon. So we have 16 on the lateral, 15 and 13 on the medial side of the leg. So inevitably, we have to uh, distance these out. We have to uh, divide these soon measurements uh, to find our acupuncture points. So I do see a lot of students using their fingers like this, and I find it's okay. I, you know, it works out all right. Uh, I do feel that in some cases it can make mistakes. I prefer people to just use their eyes, visually map out these, make a tick mark for your midway points, uh, and, and you can find these points a little bit easier that way. So let's say from the tibial femoral joint space to the medial malleolus, it's 15. The easiest number to deal with with 15, divide it into equal thirds. So you have five, five, and five. So nice, equal uh, spaces uh, with the 15 sun measurement, pretty easy to work with. Uh, ideal when you're using uh, measure, measuring for things like uh, liver channel points. Now, when it comes to, uh, let's say, spleen channel points, I will use that reference point of spleen 9, you know, 13 down to 6 and a half, down to 6, and of course 6 split in half is 3 soon above the malleolus, gives us our spleen 6 pretty quickly and uh, pretty easily there. So those are the two methods to look at the medial side of the leg. The lateral side we'll get to uh, at another day, but I hope that clears things up a little bit on this end. 
Well, I'd like to thank you again for watching. I really hope this review of the measurements of the lower leg improve your point location accuracy. Certainly subscribe to the button below so you don't miss any future videos. And since you stuck to the end, uh, I'd like to offer you a free gift. I have uh, a handout uh, for the top 10 acupuncture points. So not only uh, would you uh, be able to see which points those are, but also the clinically relevant applications of these points. I think that's what most people are looking for. Uh, so click on that link down below to get your 10 acupuncture points, the top 10 acupuncture points. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.